Glad to have you with us today. Uh, Ms. Greenwood, would you like to lead off, please? Sure thing. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Il est un grand plaisir d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui. It has been a while since we last met. You know, the pandemic, when it arrived 10 months ago, it triggered a powerful mix of emotions and instincts. It's just human nature. Individually, we scrambled to protect ourselves and our families, and then had to cope with isolation and fear that resulted. And our governments went into protective crouches. They began competing with one another for personal protective equipment and other crucial supplies, and ultimately began to turn inward. It was all understandable enough. The coronavirus disrupted entire sectors of the economy and robbed millions of their livelihoods, not to mention lives. In those circumstances, it was natural for governments to resolve that the health and jobs of their own citizens came first and to fashion arrangements accordingly. But it was ultimately counterproductive, especially where the United States and Canada are concerned. I don't have to explain to any members of this committee the extent to which our economies are integrated. In many ways, we are now one economy, and it's a fantastically successful model. Look, if Ontario were a sovereign nation, it would be America's third biggest trading partner. And it's the number one trading partner of 19 states. Alberta provides nearly half of America's crude oil imports. And more than 87% of US aluminum imports come from Quebec. And those, by the way, are low carbon. I could go on. So I got together with the Quebec Delegate General uh, in New York, Catherine Louvier, and we came up with the North American Rebound Campaign. Our message was pretty simple and we think pretty effective. It was, we are in this together and we need each other to get through it. If the New England states could get together and form a co-op of sorts to secure personal protective equipment, why couldn't Quebec be part of that group? And for that matter, why not the whole of Canada and the US? We started contacting like-minded people in Canada and the US to support us. As the CEO of the Canadian American Business Campaign Council, my Rolodex, if I can still use that term, is full of people who understand the profound need for mutual reliance. Since we launched the North American Rebound campaign in May, we've signed up over 1,000 Canadian and American business leaders, 140 prominent business and industry associations in both countries, from Kansas to California, from Arizona to Atlanta. We've reached 150,000 people on social media, and we've managed nearly 113 million impressions in print media so far. The people who signed on to the North American Rebound believe that both countries must maintain a strong, common cross-border manufacturing response until this pandemic is brought under control, and in fact, in the economic recovery that will follow. We need to collaborate on securing personal protective equipment. We must design Canada-US solutions to maintain and replenish strategic stockpiles of medical equipment. The common border must remain open to essential business. Our supply chains cannot be interrupted. And we have to find smart, safe, risk-based ways to reopen the border ultimately. And we have to continue what we've been doing now for decades, expanding market opportunities for each other. That is crucial for recovery and to compete globally once we move past this pandemic. And we will continue to work with the new Biden administration and the 117th Congress, and of course, this parliament. There's a lot of talk these days about building back smarter. For our two countries, rebounding together is the smartest move of all. Thank you very much. 